So about two years ago, I pissed off uh, some people by making a video titled Why Saitama Could Beat Goku. It garnered a bit of attention, and it received a lot of comments. A lot. Okay, comment number one. Whoever reads this, please inform Seth the programmer, the god of debunks. Yeah, grab Seth in here, because Seth will totally give me a rational, logical, and fair debate in which he and his friends will not just talk over me and insult me, aka ad hominem me the entire time. I'm sure of it. People who think Seth is the god of debunks are idiots. He changes his stances day to day, and he moves the goalpost anytime anyone brings counterpoints to the table. Also, he doesn't give a shit about some 600 subscriber nobody talking about fictional characters fighting. Just just like how I never gave a shit about some Seth the nobody arguing about it. I think he's a straight up idiot, but whatever. That's just my opinion. Using Seth as an argument is stupid, and you're using the argument from authority fallacy. Dude, think about this. The villains in Saitama don't match up to the villains Goku fights. Beerus can touch a planet and it's gone. Cool, bro. I never said that they did measure up. I mean, we're not comparing feats here. I even mentioned in the video that comparing feats is not what I'm doing. I showed each of their feats to explain and illustrate my point that Saitama is never trying because that's the joke. Therefore, the joke would be that Saitama would beat Goku without trying. But yeah, that's just speculation. Well, I mean, it's also speculation that Goku would beat Saitama. By saying what I'm doing is only speculation and then turning around and speculating on things that only reinforce your ideas, then you're just doing exactly what you're accusing me of, but you're shooting yourself in the foot. When you do a series versus series, only feats matters. When Saitama has a fear that puts him on par with Goku, we can talk. Till then, just stop. Ah, uh, no they don't. They're a good point to substantiate what you're saying, but they're not the only thing that matters. For example, Squirrel Girl beat Thanos. Before she beat Thanos, there was no reason to assume, given her past feats, that she would be able to take out someone so powerful, unless you looked at the fact that her entire gag is taking out OP characters off screen. Her feats are not what matters, it's the joke. Hey, I can kill anyone in one punch. Boros enters the chat. <laughs> I'm so funny. Ah, see, I love this one, because for some reason there's people who genuinely think that Saitama couldn't have beat Boros with one punch. Even though, if that were the case, then we would have seen the fire reignite in Saitama's eyes like it did any time he was faced with any enemy he actually knew was strong enough to give him a challenge, or even strong enough to where he thought they might give him a challenge. Funny how during the entire fight, the only glimpse we get of Saitama showing any emotion other than his basic neutral expression is some bit of surprise to see Boros still so eager to fight after Saitama's warning shot. Saitama puts in a little effort and is able to blow away a planet-busting attack and kill Boros without even touching him, and is muffled by the planet-busting attack that happened just milliseconds earlier, and for some reason people think that Saitama could not have beaten Boros with one punch. Saitama gave Boros the fight because he knows what Boros feels like. He knows what it feels like to have a life where your heart can't ever really be in the fight because no one is strong enough to oppose you. Saitama didn't just end the fight with Boros in one punch, because this man traveled 20 years across the universe just to find someone to go all out on. Saitama never had that, so he had the chance to at least give it to someone else. So he did. LMAO, imagine using narrative in a versus battle. This is another stupid argument I get, and I explained it earlier with the squirrel girl joke, but some people still don't get it. But okay, if we're not using narrative, then what the fuck counts? I mean, if Goku can just Hakai anything, which he never does anyway because he's an idiot, why do I get so many stupid comments about that part of Goku's narrative? I mean, hell, feats are narrative, they're literally the narrative of the heroes, but we're not allowed to use narrative? A lot of people are conflating narrative with, you can't use this because that's what the author intended for the character, and every character powers up eventually, so that they're trying to say that by that same logic, Goku will train and become stronger than Saitama because he always becomes stronger than his opponents, which one, isn't what I'm saying, and two, isn't even true. Goku couldn't even beat Jiren and had to get the help of Frieza. So much for Goku always being stronger than his opponent, even though Saitama always is, but hey, whatever. The best is unmatched. <laughs> I mean, okay. Sure, I'm biased towards My Hero Academia, I think it's the best anime ever, but Deku could not beat Saitama no matter how hard he trained, even though his narrative is to become stronger, but yeah, sure, I guess I'm biased. This same tired argument has been used for the past five years. Until he gets better feats, you can't say Saitama is the strongest simple. Well, I mean, I wasn't claiming that Saitama was the strongest, I was just claiming that Saitama would beat Goku, but I mean, I guess I did heavily imply it. But, still, what you're saying is stupid. I'm throwing out predictions, and if I'm proven right, then I'm right, is what you're saying? See, here's what I'm doing. I'm using evidence I have now to make a prediction. And until it's 100% confirmed, then that doesn't mean I'm wrong, it just means that no one fully knows. But hey, 
I'm not really sure which argument you're referring to in the video since I point out multiple, like Saitama being a gag character, parody not always having to be serious, and the main one of Saitama kicking Goku's ass, but hey, whatever. When Krillin can beat him, laughing crying face emoji, prove it. Given the fact you don't have Saitama's feats to compare like everyone else says, you can't prove this. Saitama used a serious punch against Boros, meaning he did try, so no matter what you say... Is that it? Is that the end of that... Did I... Is that the end of that comment? What? Okay. Well. And if Goku fought Krillin, he would have to try a little. This means absolutely nothing. But it doesn't matter, Saitama has yet to show that he's on the power of Goku. Just because he's able to one-punch everything in his universe doesn't mean he'll be able to do it in other universes. Just because he's a joke character doesn't mean he doesn't comply to logic. Arale is a joke character, but characters like Beavers were able to still kill those same joke characters. Goku has the Hakai, he could literally erase Saitama from existence. At most, Saitama has shown to be star level. An argument that you didn't take damage because it's joke doesn't make any sense to me specifically stated within the manga that he took damage then you have to take it at face value he took damage doesn't matter how minor it is it still happened the books say yeah whatever you're right just because someone is able to one punch everything in their universe doesn't mean that they'll always be able to one punch anyone from any other universe you're right in that sense but also that doesn't mean that they won't be able to one punch anyone i'm on the side that he will be able to do it because i haven't been shown anything that would convince me otherwise also he didn't take damage <laughs> lol you gotta be kidding me manga goku could hukai saitama along with his city there's been a scene in dps where god of destruction destroyed a city like we said there's nothing Hakai can't destroy. Apparently not Jiren. Saitama doesn't try to punch a fish so hard the rain stops. Goku tries extremely hard to fight an opponent above God of Destruction. What's your point here? You fit opponents way beyond universe level. For example, Beerus, Hit, Copy, Vegeta, Goku, Black, and so forth. People on higher level than solar system levels have opposed Goku in Super, while Saitama fights people such as Stomach, who's faster than Sound, or one alien guy who's a planet destroyer. Like, Goku's fighting universal level threats, and of course he'll try to defeat them. Planetary threats aren't even that big of a deal to Goku. He could flick them away without even trying. Saitama is holding back, but I doubt he'd be able to beat Goku. <laughs> Heavy plot armor, which is ridiculous. I'm not a Goku fan. I'm a Gohan fan. What, is, what does this have to do with anything? Why did you have to include this part? Okay, but I can understand why this might be confusing. I was trying to illustrate the point that no matter what fight Saitama was in, he was never trying at all. But in every fight Goku has shown, he is trying. That was my point. Saitama doesn't ever need to try, Goku does. Saitama weak as fuck! I get a million of these and it's still not an argument. You can't justify Saitama being stronger than Goku when he's one-shotting planet-level beings. Saibman could do that and Goku's gotten infinitely stronger since the Saiyan Saga. He at least used 1% of his powers against Boros and don't pull some bullshit he used a quadrillionth of his power. You don't scream serious punch and then use a quadrillionth of your power. In fact, 1% is a huge ass wank. Anyway, Saitama used at least 1% of his power to, pill, kill, to kill Boros, a, a threat to humanity, and Goku almost destroyed the universe at the start of Super and gets exponentially stronger throughout Super. Furthermore, he legitimately shakes an infinite realm. I mean, show me where the fuck you got this 1% from officially and I'll accept it, but, but also seeing as Saitama doesn't scream out serious punch, I'm just going to assume that you're full of shit like your point here. I never claimed or even asserted how much power Saitama was using here. Saitam, at best, is 100 times star level and Goku is legit mid-multiversal. This video is a complete joke. I mean, show me the calculations here. Where did you even get these numbers from? The reason why I think Saitama should be as strong as Dodoria is because Saitama only did 100 push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and a 20-kilometer run each day for only three years. And it won't make sense if Saitama was as strong as Ultra Instinct Goku because Goku trains a lot more than Saitama, so Saitama is super duper weak. Well, I mean... it. You got it wrong, it's actually a 10 kilometer run, and uh, this is also part of the joke. Um, there's a lot of characters in universe in One Punch Man who train harder than Saitama, and Saitama is still stronger than him. Uh, this is, uh, y you kind of missed the joke. So a power lifter who can bench 1,000 pounds is weaker than normal Jimbro who we've only seen bench 60 pounds because Jimbro wasn't trying? That doesn't seem like a logical stance. 
Uh-oh, we have another straw man. The normal gym bro hasn't been seen not to lift a thousand pounds, and he's also not a normal gym bro. But hey, since you want a straw man, it doesn't matter what I say anyway, since you didn't pay attention to the fucking video. The entire premise of side automatic bullshit video, all characters in fiction have a premise. If you're gonna use concepts for Saitama, also do it for Goku. Otherwise, you're a hypocritic. You would have to say that Goku one-shoots all fiction, because his plot is to surpass everyone sooner or later. Feats are the most objective way to measure these characters. Not the plot, because every character in fiction have a plot, not only Saitama. But you One Punch Man fans are hypocritics. You just use premise for Saitama. But for the rest of the characters in fiction? Nah, with them just feats, right? You either use only X feats for everyone including Saitama and Goku, or you use Y premises for Saitama but also Goku. If you use premises, go ahead, Saitama beats Goku, but then Goku beats Saitama because his plot is to overcome his opponents later. That's Goku's entire point as well. I think you're confused on what a premise is here, but a premise is just a part of an argument, so I'll have to use premises no matter what argument I'm putting forth. All of these are actually premises as well. Also, by that logic, I would have to say that Deku beats Saitama because Deku always beats who he's up against eventually. But nope, not how it works. I never claim that's how it works. And I'm not being hippopotamus, but since you want me to use the premise of Dragon Ball Z, so you want me to use the fact that it's a show about finding a bunch of orange balls to get the chance to speak to a dragon, I don't get how this helps your side. I'm being facetious, obviously. Nah, but seriously. Goku didn't surpass Jiren, so fuck out of here with that argument. The joke is that Saitama could beat anyone in one punch. Yeah, I agree. In his universe? I mean, then Goku can beat anyone in his universe except Beerus, Whis, or Jiren. Your logic shoots itself in the foot, bro. Saitama was said to destroy half the universe. Goku is low multi. Well, before, someone said he was mid-multi, so, like, where are these numbers coming from? Also, this Saitama thing is literally said nowhere, and, uh, I have yet to find anyone who links me to a source on it. I've checked. Bro, a Cyberman would be god-level threat. What are you talking about? I never said that it wouldn't. It's a bad joke. Very. Very. Very bad. That's just your opinion, buddy. This video is so easy to debunk. Firstly, the official guide is, well, official, and there is nothing you can do about it. Secondly, Saitama did use a somewhat serious punch against Boros' final attack that was only star level, so even if we wank Saitama's actual serious punch, then he would only come out at or less than solar system level. We also have the statement that Saitama is not a gag character. This is very unfortunate for Saitama fans because Goku actually fought and held his own against a gag character. We can take this further with Beerus being on the verge of erasing this gag character from existence in one small attack if it wasn't for his sudden diarrhea. Goku later surpassed Beerus in the top, meaning Goku can very easily destroy even gag characters that are by principle stronger than Saitama. Nowhere is it stated that Saitama has any kind of unlimited or omnipotent strength, and Saitama tards completely disregard feats and statements. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. Your first point says that the uh, official guy is official. That's true. Never said it wasn't. I never even brought it up. I'm also just wondering where 80% of this stuff is coming from because it's not in the official guide. You say somewhat serious, but that still doesn't give a power level or even a numerical value on Saitama's power at the time of using a serious punch. Um, so the fact you're wanking it out at uh, at or less than solar system level doesn't make sense. Where's the statement that Saitama's not a gag character? No one has shown me this. And you're saying that since Goku has fought and held his own against a gag character, then that's all you really need. I mean, Goku wants to fight against Cabbage Guy from Avatar The Last Airbender and hold his own, then I mean, go for it, but that argument doesn't really hold up since different gag characters are different gag characters. It's kind of heavily implied that Saitama has uh, unlimited strength with the fact that Boros says that he can't sense any limit to Saitama's power, but whatever. I guess I'm just being a Saitama tard, completely disregarding feats and statements, even though I just brought up the statement literally made by Boros in universe, but hey. So fun fact, Saitama ain't even a gag character. He's a parody character, who is also a parody character, Goku. So the argument, he always wins because that's the joke, is actually wrong. The joke is that these characters go up against Saitama, boast the shit out of him, inflate their ego, then get their asses kicked in a single punch. He's a parody of Sun Wukong, who, just like Goku, always wins in the end. 
The only time these two ever lost was in Goku fought Beerus, who's immune to gag and parody characters, and Sun Wung Kong failing the challenge set by him from a monk, don't remember his name, who is omnipotent, omnipresent, and most likely omniscient. You're welcome. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Just, wow. Just amazing. Um, the problem with that is everything. Uh, Goku is a parody character, by that logic, if you're talking about his origin. But it has no effect on the story that's being told. Saitama's does, and that's what I'm arguing. Saitama lost a fight. No joke. <laughs> Against a mosquito. <laughs> You're right. It's kind of part of the joke. And if you still don't get it, then you miss the joke.